60. Word order. Speaking and listening. Introduction. Hello and welcome to Out of Order. With me, I have Donald Bolton from Poole. Uh, no, uh, Donald Poole from Bolton. Oh, sorry, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> Donald is going to play Out of Order. He could win a new Ford Siesta. Oh! A holiday for two in the Caribbean. Oh! And these beautiful saucepans. <laughs> Let's start with round one. Donald. We will show you a proverb, but the words will be in the wrong order. Yes. In ten seconds, can you put them in the right order? Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Here's the proverb. Uh, hot hands warm cold. Um... Cold heart, warm hands. No, I'm sorry, Donald. The proverb is, of course, cold hands, warm heart. Oh, yes. Never mind. Try round two. I will read you some phrases, and you have to say if the words are in the right order or the wrong order, okay? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. You're ready. Good. Fish and chips. Right. Rock and roll. Right. Blues and rhythm. Uh, wrong. Rhythm and blues. Very good. Dr. Hyde and Mr. Jekyll. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Good. Better never than late. Uh, better late than never. And business before pleasure. Right. Well, Donald, that was fantastic. Six correct answers. Yay! You have won these beautiful saucepans. Direct questions and indirect questions. Listen. Hello and welcome to Poets and Poetry. This week we're discussing the little-known poet Ambrose Lewis. When was he born? Where was he born? How many poems did he write? And why did he always wear yellow socks? To answer these questions, Dr. Martin West is with us. Good evening. Dr. West. Tell us about Ambrose Lewis. Mm -hmm. Firstly, I think everyone would like to know when he was born. Yes, I'd like to know that too. Ah, well, can you tell us where he was born? Uh, no, uh, sorry. Can you tell us how many poems he wrote? Um, not exactly, no. Well, perhaps you can tell us why he always wore yellow socks. Did he always wear yellow socks? Yes. I didn't know that. That's fascinating. Dr. West... You don't know when he was born. You don't know where he was born. You don't know how many poems he wrote. And you don't know why he always wore yellow socks. Ambrose Lewis was a very mysterious person. Yes. Thank you, Dr. West. You're welcome. Listen. Where was William Shakespeare born? I don't know where he was born. I'd like to know where he was born. Do you know where he was born? Can you tell me where he was born? I can tell you where he was born. He was born in Stratford-upon-Avon. Listen and repeat. How many plays did Shakespeare write? I don't know how many plays he wrote. I'd like to know how many plays he wrote. Do you know how many plays he wrote? Can you tell me how many plays he wrote? I can tell you how many plays he wrote. He wrote 37 plays. Inversion. Listen. Well, 
Well, our second guest on Poets and Poetry is Professor Muriel Whitney. Good evening. Professor Whitney, Dr. West is very interested in Ambrose Lewis. So am I. Lewis is a marvellous poet. And Dr. West has studied his poems for years. So have I. They're fascinating. But Dr. West doesn't know very much about him. Nor do I. And he can't answer any of my questions. Nor can I. Sorry. Ah. Well, Ambrose Lewis remains a mystery. Dr. West believes he is a fascinating poet, and so does Professor Whitney. But Dr. West doesn't know very much about him, and nor does Professor Whitney. So, uh, from poets and poetry, good night. Listen and repeat. So am I. So have I. Nor do I. Nor can I. Listen and repeat the replies. I'm learning English. So am I. I can understand it quite well. So can I. I think it's quite an interesting language. So do I. I'd like to read some English poetry. So would I. I've never heard of Ambrose Lewis. Nor have I. I don't think he's a real poet. Nor do I. The order of adjectives. Listen. Hello and welcome to Time and Space. Our subject tonight is unidentified flying objects, UFOs. And my guest is Professor Henrietta Cottle. Good evening. Professor, the popular idea of a UFO is a huge silver spaceship full of little green men. <laughs> well, of course, that's a ridiculous idea. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> for example, I've been studying Martian visitors to Earth for many years. They are, of course, not little green men. <laughs> of course they're not. They are, in fact, small blue fish. Uh, wearing tiny red plastic hats. Uh, professor. And speaking a strange musical language. Uh, well, thank you, Professor. That's fascinating. Listen and repeat. An unidentified flying object. A huge silver spaceship full of little green men. Small blue fish wearing tiny red plastic hats and speaking a strange musical language. Style Listen. Quiet, please. Mr. McIntyre to serve. Fifteen, love. Fifteen, all. Thirty, fifteen. Bolt! Second service. Bolt! Thirty, all. Thirty, forty. Deuce. Advantage, McIntyre. 
Game, set, and match to McIntyre. 6-4, 6-2, 6-love. Synopsis. Dialogue. Sorry, Elizabeth. What's that? Sorry? What's the score now? Advantage, Walker and Carpenter. Come on, Jeff. Where's your fast, powerful serve? Here it comes. Oh. <laughs> oh, that wasn't it. Here it comes now. Oh. oh. Thank you, Jeff. Game, set, and match to Carpenter and Walker. Oh, well, we won't be playing at Wimbledon next year, Jeff. Nope. Nor will we. But it was a good game. <laughs> oh, yes, a game full of fast, exciting rallies. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't say that exactly. Oh, no, would I? I'd say it was a game full of short, gentle rallies. <laughs> That's a very good description. I'm exhausted. <sighs> Let's go and have a drink. <sighs> it's starting to get dark anyway. Oh, good idea. What's that? What? That, up there. It's a plane. Are you sure? It's moving very fast. I don't think it's a plane. Well, what do you think it is? A UFO? <laughs> a huge silver spaceship full of little green men. UFOs are not huge silver spaceships full of little green men. That's right. <laughs> They're full of small blue fish wearing tiny red plastic hats. <laughs> and speaking a strange musical language. <laughs> yes, I saw that TV program too. Oh, yes, so did I. What was that professor's name? I don't remember what her name was. But she certainly had some interesting ideas. I wonder if she was serious. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. I'll buy you a UFO cocktail. What's a UFO cocktail? <laughs> An unsweetened fresh orange juice. Oh. <laughs> a good idea. I'll have one too. So will I. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 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 